I keep saying this, Meredith, we got to get to spring training and see how it plays out, but I love the idea of Peraza being your opening day shortstop. I think at some point you sort of have to open up the door and let the young players barge through. The Yankees did that with Cabrera last year, and he's someone who could play all over. From watching Peraza and the way he handles the position and the at-bats that he has, to me, he's a major leaguer. He proved last year he's ready to be a major leaguer. Will there be some growing pains? Of course there will. There always are. But I don't think you can go into 2023 with IKF as your starting shortstop. I think Peraza is a much better option. You got the sense from Brian Cashman that they believe they are very, very close to climbing over the hurdle that is the Houston Astros. We mentioned the pitching. There's some youth in that middle infield. Do you feel like that roster is as close as they seem to indicate? I think they need to make some more moves. If you tell me that Radon is on that roster, if you tell me Benintendi is on that roster, that LeMahieu is healthy, that some of those young players that we talked about, be it Peraza and Cabrera, are going to be ready to produce. Kane leaves a part of the bullpen. Yes, then I think you can say, hey, we want to be able to look the Astros in the eye and be able to say you can beat them. Remember, the Astros lost Verlander to the Mets, so that's something that they have to address as well. But the Astros pitching was so impressive last year, Meredith. I think that there's a gap for the Yankees to try and close. I don't think they've closed it yet.